okay if we <coughs> listen the diagrammatical pictures of boundary of inguinal ligament inguinal canal that here you can see <coughs> uh, this is the appendages of external oblique which is solely form the superficial inguinal ring okay this is the superficial inguinal ring just lies medial just medial to the plane and lateral to symphysis pubis here is the symphysis pubis so this is the superficial inguinal ring so superficial inguinal ring is solely formed by external oblique aponeurosis okay so this is the anterior wall of the inguinal canal and if we reflect this layer that is this is the deflected layers of the uh, appendage external oblique we can see the whole spermatic cord through the canal this is the canal as uh, this is the spermatic cord okay so po uh, this is the anterior wall this is the posterior posterior wall is complex that is lateral two-third medial one-third so lateral two-third is formed by internal oblique and transversus abdominis but in the uh, medial part it is formed by conjoint tendon conjoint tendon is a reunion of internal oblique and the transverse abdominis two layers of abdomen reunited to form conjoint tendon and posteriorly you can see the posterior to the these two layer this is the tra fascia transversalis okay the blue layers is called tra fascia transversalis and this is the deep ring this is the deep inguinal ring deep inguinal ring is formed by fascia transversalis and these two layers forms the roof of the inguinal canal so roof of the inguinal canal is formed by internal oblique and transversus sorry internal oblique and transversus abdominis okay and this is the conjoint tendon medially which is formed by internal oblique and transversus abdominis so what are the contents that is spermatic cord along with the testicular artery pumpiniform plexus some lymphatic and fat and there is a nerve that is ilioinguinal nerve passes through the inguinal canal okay so uh, there, there is a, another two nerves which is partially goes through the inguinal canal that is ilio hypogastric nerve and genital branch of genitofemoral nerve okay so if we see here that is in the in the roof this structure is mostly marked that is there is a two muscles that is transversus abdominis and internal oblique that is lateral two-third of the inguinal canal which is and the roof is formed by transversus abdominis and internal oblique and the the part is also mentioned that is fascia transversalis truss of fascia transversalis okay, this is the diagrammatic picture in the exam you have to write down the pictures for boundary content of inguinal canal okay now the once again the layers of the abdomen in case of inguinal reason so if we if the teachers ask you to describe the uh, layers in the inguinal reason of the abdomen that is skin superficial fascia it has two layers the superficial fatty and deep membranous here this is the superficial fatty layer and this is the deep deep uh, membranous layer so this is the skin superficial fa fascia that is subcutaneous tissue deep membranous layer then external oblique appendages is the green part uh, that also forms the floor of the inguinal canal so this is the inguinal canal and the external oblique appendages forms the 
floor of the inguinal canal okay now the roof you can see this is the roof this roof is called internal oblique and transverse abdomen these two layers which is carved and makes the roof of the inguinal canal and this is the spermatic cord and the inguinal nerve the content of the spermatic cord posteriorly this laterally these two muscles internal oblique and transverse abdomen but internally that is medially there is these two muscles reunited to form conjoint tendon okay conjoint means two muscles reunited and makes a tendon tendon like structure strong structures is called the conjoint tendon which is attached with the pubic symphysis and the pubic crest okay and posteriorly this is the fascia transversalis and extra peritoneal tissue that is it is also a fatty layer and the parietal peritoneum that is parietal layer of the peritoneum so these are the structures you have to describe above before backwards okay now the you can see this this is the also a uh, inguinal region pictures you can also draw these pictures uh, in lieu of that three pictures so like here you can see the peritoneal layers and this is this inguinal content through this is the inguinal canal so so there are layers of the scrotum i already told you that before backwards skin dartos muscle then external spermatic fascia then cremasteric muscles internal spermatic fascia and the layers of the testis that is tunica vaginalis so the layers of the scrotum before backwards sometimes this kind of question is asked in the exam so you can see this is the internal spermatic fascia then this is the superficial membrane so that is later on it is called the dartos muscle and the campers layer same internal spermatic fascia superficial membrane layers cremasteric muscles and the this is the dartos muscle so now uh, there are some other structures like some vessels present in the in these abdominal layers it will be discussed now